Everybody knows the most important ingredient to a successful overlanding experience is good coffee in the morning. Well, I'm gonna show you four ways to make excellent coffee at camp. I sound a little angry. I'm gonna take you through four ways that I discovered to make really good coffee at camp that doesn't take a ton of water, that packs down really well, and that cleans up really, really easily. So I'm actually on the trail right now. We're on the Idaho backcountry discovery route. There's four of us on the trail right now. We're somewhere up near Wallace, Idaho. It's day 10 and we are drinking coffee this morning because we are tired from 10 days of grueling travel. It's been amazing, but it's time for coffee. So we're actually gonna taste test these different ways to make coffee and let you know what we think tastes the best. Okay, number one, and I have to say, this is my favorite, the AeroPress. If you've seen any of our videos, you have seen Kate and I using the AeroPress. This thing is so great. What I love about it is that it's light, it packs down really, really easily, it makes excellent coffee, and the cleanup is really, really minimal. Okay, so here's how you make coffee with the AeroPress. They have these little paper filters that you buy single-use filters you just pop in to the base you just screw it in right there locks in place take out the press you scoop in your coffee we're using Starbucks French roast that's what Kate and I like um, and we like that it's ground already so we don't have to do any grinding at camp I like two scoops because I like it to be very strong and now you pour in the hot water so as you pour in the hot water, it comes with this stir stick and you pour it in slowly and then I like to stir it up to make the good coffee sludge slur, I think it's called, the coffee slurry. You just slowly pour it in there and I use the hot water to rinse this thing out so I don't have to do that later. And you fill it up to where you want it, right about there. And then you take the press, which has which has this uh, rubber seal around it, and you just put it in there. That creates a vacuum seal, and it keeps the coffee from brewing until you're ready, and you just let it sit. And then you press it down, and what happens is there's an air pocket between the rubber seal and the coffee, and that air pocket brews the coffee, presses that air through, and creates this like incredible foamy goodness on the top of your coffee. And it really feels like you just ordered something from Starbucks. Okay, we brewed our coffee, so now it's time to clean up. With the AeroPress, you twist, you twist off the top, and you've got your kind of, I don't know, it's like a coffee cake there. It's like a plug of coffee. And you just find your trash, and you put it in there, and then, there's some grounds left over on top. I just wipe them off with a paper towel and you're ready to brew for the next one. Okay, the next thing that I wanna share with you is something that I am really excited about. So you've probably seen Nespresso makers on the trail that take battery power, you plug them in, they make a bunch of noise in the morning. It's that, rah, 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 that, that noise of it running an air compressor essentially to make your coffee. Well, I came across this product and I've been testing it out and I really like it. It's the Star Esso. Nespresso maker and espresso maker. Let me show you how this thing works. It's really cool. So to brew this, it's pretty simple. You just unscrew this, the bottom here. You just pop your pot in, just like you would with your Nespresso machine at home. You then screw it back on. Getting it threaded right is always a challenge. Screw it back on. Okay, that's ready to be brewed now from the pot side. Now we just gotta add hot water. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna fill that up with hot water. Okay, put the lid back on, screw that on nice and tight. And then you, you twist this counterclockwise to release this pump. And then basically you just hold it over your coffee and you pump. And after a certain point, there's enough pressure that it starts brewing your Nespresso through that pod, just like it would with your Nespresso machine at home. At least as far as I know. I don't really know all the ins and outs of Nespresso machines, but I do know that this makes the coffee. 
and that's pretty fast and you've got this look at look at that coffee that looks delicious so we're gonna taste test this one too this one's ready with the staresso and espresso maker it's pretty easy too so you just twist off the top take out the pod which this one's really sticking you might have a little bit of rinse work to do with water here um, but not too much Okay, next I'm gonna share the product that probably gets the most comments whenever I talk about coffee. Whenever I say coffee, somebody says, the Stanley French Press. I'm gonna have my buddy Jake brew because Jake knows coffee. So this guy, he doesn't just brew the coffee, he like warms the mug up to make sure that there's no adverse chemical reactions. And so I actually think that he might make the best coffee of this taste test, but let's go watch and see how he does it with the French Press. So what I'm trying to do is actually create a coffee that is really good flavor, but doesn't actually get the bitterness that happens when coffee cools over time. So step one is to put boiling water in my mug, uh, and then that keeps the mug hot, and when I add the coffee into it, it'll stay warm longer and it'll cool down slower. Second stage is actually choosing good water to use for your coffee. Uh, that's an important base element of making coffee. And then uh, boiling it, and then I like to use the French press, the Stanley French press, I like the quantity of coffee that it makes also, like four cups. So whether I'm by myself and I want, I really need that extra boost in the morning or I'm traveling with my family and my wife and I can uh, share a cup of coffee with only making one pot. Stanley Press is pretty cool, unlike traditional French press, and the fact that it is completely enclosed, so there's no chance of getting grounds into your cup of coffee, which I love. So cleaning for the French press is a little bit more intense. So you remove the plunger. And then you often have, you know, a little bit of water and... You got a little sludge in there. Sludge in there, yeah, sludge. So your options are throw it in your garbage, uh, try to get as much of the water dumped out as possible in your coffee mug, uh, and then typically I like to wipe out the grounds as much as possible and then, and then rinse it all out with water just to give it a final clean. Okay, the last technique for coffee at camp that I want to share with you is probably the most simple. It's from this company called Wildland Coffee, and it's just coffee in a tea bag. It's real coffee sealed inside a package um, that you put into your hot water. So for the tea bags, we're just gonna pour some hot water in here. I'm gonna put in this extra dark roast because that's generally what I prefer. And uh, it says to steep for eight minutes. So I'm just going to get it in there, get it soaked in, and then put the lid on it, put it to the side. And we're going to see how that tastes in a bit. Easiest to make by far. With the tea bag, it's as simple as dropping in the trash. You're done. Clear winner for ease of cleanup. Now that you know, Four different ways we're gonna brew some coffee and do some taste tests. We're all drinking out of the same mug because we don't care. Aeropress. Next one. This is the Nespresso brew. Tastes like Nespresso. Do you have a little palate cleansing cheese or something? No. This is the Stanley French press. This is the tea bag brew. Yeah, letter brew. Okay, so Chris, which, which was your favorite? Man, best overall, at least for me, is the AeroPress. Jake? Yeah, I'd, I'd say the, the flavor in the AeroPress was my favorite. Best overall for me is the AeroPress. That's the taste that I like. So from the three of us, at least, the winner is the AeroPress for taste. So. Yep. Okay. But none of them taste bad. No. No. I think the winner for convenience is the tea bag. Definitely. The like winner for volume, Stanley. And the winner for being an espresso maker is the, is the Star Staresso. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just getting ready to hit the trail again, but we wanted to share those four ways to make camp coffee with you. Each method has pros and cons. We each have our own kind of palette for what we like in coffee, but I would encourage you to look into those four options because each of them are good for camping. They're small, they're easy to clean, they make great coffee, and for God's sake, life is too short to drink bad coffee on the trail. 
Hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want more content. Until next time, I'm Will from Venture to Rome. Thanks for watching.